Dear colleagues, we represent Karpenko Physical Mechanical Institute of the National Academy of Sciences of Ukraine and Odessa National Maritime University, U University Odessa, Ukraine. Plan of presentation. General irregularities of degradation of long term operated pipeline steels. Operational damaging is the main factor of insurgent degradation of rolled steels. Peculiarities of the experimental studies of insurgent degradation of rolled steels under cyclic loading and concluding remarks. General irregularities of operational degradation of structural steels. It is well known that long-term operation causes, in general, a degradation of mechanical properties of structural materials, including steels, in comparison with as received state. A long-term static loading, as a rule, is dangerous under the action of aggressive environments, and regarding cyclic loading, it is especially strong factor for steel degradation. These aspects are superimposed on the features of operational degradation of rolled steels. Let's start with the scheme which shows two main uh, stages of in service degradation of structural steels. The first one, the formation agent, and the second stage, damage accumulation, which is more dangerous. This slide demonstrates sensitivity of the different parameters of brittle fracture resistance, namely impact strength and fracture toughness, to operational degradation. Data are gathered for pipeline steels ex exploited up to more than 50 years. As you can see, Fracture toughness evaluated by J integral approach is more sensitive to degradation than impact strength. Concerning impact strength test, we divided total energy for two items energy for crack initiation and energy for crack propagation. The scheme showed that energy for crack initiation is not sensitive to degradation, only an energy to crack propagation. Supporting the preliminary result with the integral evaluation, the just crack growth resistance is the most sensitive to degradation. It means that KCV uh, sensitivity uh, can be increased if to compare separately energy for crack propagation for unoperated and operated states of steel. Usually, characteristics of plasticity are less sensitive for evaluation of operational degradation in comparison of impact strength and fracture tactics. However, a sensitivity of plasticity characteristics can be increased if to compare unoperated and operated states of steel after preliminary hydrogenation of specimen before tension. <coughs> On left, you can see a little difference between plasticity of different states of steels, but the right scheme demonstrates essential difference if to compare results of tensile test hydrogenated specimens. It should be noted that the method of preliminary hydrogenation can be used independently on the obstacle. Operational conditions include aggressive environment or not. Here we noted that fracture toughness is the most sensitive for evaluation of operational degradation. Concerning the parameters of a tick regrowth resistance, we should separately consider press threshold region and a middle part of the tick crack growth rate. In the first case, we have to take into consideration crack closure effect 
since usually operation causes an increased crack closure effect. Regarding a middle part of a thicker growth rate in air, it is less sensitive to operation degradation. However, corrosion environment will increase the thicker growth rate more intensely for exploited steels. And increase of stress ratio increases sensitivity of a thicker growth rate to operational degradation. Operational damage is the main factor of in-service degradation of rolled steels. On this slide, you can see operational damage on fracture surface after Sharpie test. Formation road of big circle pores in rolling direction, evidently due to high pressure hydrogen. This process should be easy in low web strength steels White high strength steels are sensitive to damage due rather the cohesion mechanism of hydrogen embrittlement. So, steels in a wide range of strengths can be sensitive to hydrogen induced damage, but due the different mechanism. Peculiarities of experimental studies of insertion degradation of rolled steels under cyclic loading. First of all, it should be drawn the generally opposite effect of, of strength on fatigue, strength of smooth specimens and brittle fracture resistance like impact strength and fracture toughness. Fatigue limit detects rather crack initiation resistance, white impact strength and fracture toughness detect crack growth resistance. It is principally important to understand the different law of strength and damaging in the process degradation. So, concerning, the, uh, concerning operation de degradation, a change of fatigue strength will repeat an ambiguous depends of change of strength. Detecting two stages of material degradation. Since cyclic lo loading is strong factor of damaging than, than static loading, we should expect early start, early start of uh, stage of damaging in comparison with static loading. The philosophy of such approach is shown on the bright example of sea portal crane, which served about 40 years in the conditions of long-term cyclic loading. A level of degradation the rolled plate still was depend on a level of operational, of, of operational stresses. On this slide, you can see depends of, of impact strength separately of longitudinal and transverse specimens on the calculated level of operational stresses. More level of stresses, less level of impact strengths. Revealed essential difference in impact strengths of longitudinal and transverse specimens is caused by development during service delimination in a rolling direction. It was confirmed by macro and micro fractography of uh, specimens. And concluding remarks. Operational degradation of structural steels manifests itself mainly in a decrease of in resistance to brittle fracture and less in a decrease in plasticity. However, the sensitivity of plasticity indicators to the assessment of operational degradation can be increased by preliminary hydrogen charging of tensile specimens. Two main mechanisms of in-service degradation are considered deformation strengthens aging and dissipated damaging. Absorbent hydrogen can negatively affect on steel by the creation of hydrogen pressure in defects as a result of recombination causing dissipating damaging. 
the operational degrees in impact toughness as a brittle fracture resistance parameter can be considered as the key indicator of steel degradation, including under cyclic loading. For the rolled steels, the specimens cut in transverse direction are preferable for impact testing due to the orientation of microdelamination in the rolling direction. Thank you for your attention. And finally, here is the information about the conference devoted just damaging in materials which will take place in Ukraine this year and in the ACs of peace, also in hybrid mode. I'd like to invite you to participate in the conference.